I bought my MIC Tesla Model 3 with LFP batteries in December of 2020. It was among the first Tesla Model 3 shipped from Shanghai to Europe. There was much excitement and hype around this car as it was cheaper than a Fremont Model 3 and the build quality was thought to be better as the Gigafactory in Shanghai is newer. It also has LFP batteries that are cobalt free and can be charged to 100% all the time. Plus, they should have a longer lifespan. Our rides have been great. The only big problem was the slow charging speed, which has been fixed via software update. I guess Tesla was just being cautious with the charging speed of these LFP batteries. Then, a couple of weeks ago, I couldn't fully insert the charging cable into the port anymore. At first, it was happening just from time to time, but after a couple of weeks, I had to use the mechanical release lever first to be able to insert the cable and then also to release it. I also noticed that one of the pins of the charging port was not looking right. In fact, the dead front pin was missing. I asked for assistance via a Tesla app and I got a service appointment for two weeks later. The long time wasn't actually a big problem because I was still able to charge my car. They also offered me a replacement car during the repair time and knowing Tesla policy, I was sure it was going to be something interesting. And I was right. I arrived at the service center on a Thursday evening, they gave me a Tesla key fob, took a key card of my Model 3 and they said I could come back the next day. The replacement car was a white Model 3 performance with a full self-driving upgrade package and premium connectivity. It had about 300 km of charge, which is ok, plus you get free supercharges with your replacement car. I had to sign a paper telling them I would not transport animals, I would not smoke in the car and I would not drive outside the country. Which is actually quite a challenge living in Switzerland. I was also responsible for the first 3000 francs of damage to the car. If I really have to be picky, there's one thing I didn't like, namely the outside of the car had not been cleaned, but the weather wasn't that good anyway. Just let me say, the Performance Model 3 is on a completely different level. The car has incredible acceleration, it's crazy. It was like driving a roller coaster. The steering is also extremely precise and the suspension is really stiff. The Performance does 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.3 seconds, so it will comfortably overtake a Porsche 911 Carrera S or the Polestar 2 in a drag race. I noticed no difference in how much body lean this car has when turning into a corner compared with my standard range plus. Both feel very heavy. Unfortunately, I could only keep the car for 24 hours. The next morning I already got the push-up notification with a cost estimate for the car repair. They had to replace the charging port and the charging connector and it was all under warranty. I googled those pieces and found a shop selling them for about $1,000. I wasn't in a hurry so I went back to get my car only in the evening. Everything was working fine and they also charged my car to 100% which gives the Tesla service a 10 out of 10. This was the first time I went to a Tesla service center and I was impressed with how they can diagnose a problem remotely and how fast they can work. All the replacement pieces were already there and it took them less than 24 hours to change the charging port and connector. No scratches, no unnecessary waiting times, no boring calls leading to no end and on top of that 24 hours of performance experience. You can read a lot of bad reviews and stories from Tesla service centers but mine was great and again I can only recommend it. And if you can you should totally at least consider the performance model. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very very soon. Bye!